Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Enter the manosphere. Of course. How can I assist you today? Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. Men are nowadays more feminine as women itself. You would definitely, as I said, you would agree with me and you will also feel like that. That it's true. Men are nowadays acting like really women. Especially when it's about relationship, when it's about the duties at home. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. This is not a diss video. I repeat, this is not a diss video. We're coming from a place of respect here because this woman is speaking with good intention. And I'm pretty sure, actually very 100% sure that there are a lot of people. Many of you might don't agree with this point of view, which I will say, but most of you would definitely understand what I'm trying to say. And if anybody of you feeling offensive about this, I'm really sorry that was not the intention actually, but it is just what I'm feeling around, the energy that I'm feeling around. She sees the problems in modern society and wants to address them. However, just because someone has good intentions doesn't mean they are necessarily on point with their conclusions. And that's where we need to step in, especially when it comes to men's issues. Wolves need to be careful not to be led by lambs when it comes to navigating these complex dynamics. We'll break down what she says, highlight where we agree, and respectfully challenge where she misses the mark. Let's talk about it. But I really want to share something that is so like, for me personally, it's really disturbing because I cannot tolerate this. Maybe it's just because I have a very different mindset. And as I said, many of you won't, but most of you will definitely sure agree with what I'm going to say. To be honest, and I know you guys are also very well aware, you can see this also very much. It's quite obvious that this generation is sort of losing its dignity and there's no self-respect left for themselves. And uh, to all the girls, as a woman, I see a lot of women out there where they're trying to sell themselves their bodies as if in that's the only word that they have. And for them, it means like it's nothing and uh, can be with any men they want, can be with any boy they want and uh, sort of like, I don't know, just like feel, it feels like women nowadays think they're like cheap items on sale. That's it. This is where we agree. There's no denying it. Modern women in many, 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 many cases have lost their dignity and self-respect. They are essentially on sale, offering themselves up with no standards and men are taking notice. When women stop valuing themselves, it's no surprise that men won't value them either. And it um, doesn't surprise me when I hear men out there um, talking, you know, really stupid bullshit. I'm really sorry. Um, things like, you know, very rude things about women. And I have seen or hear, hear like a man talking about women like, you know, it's so easy to get a woman just like that, you know, because women are like this, it's good to use them for one time, for two times, and that's it. But I'm not specifying, I'm not believing that all men are like that, but most of them are like this. And the reason why, because a lot of women, they act and, as I said, they sort of sell themselves as if they are not more worth of anything and doesn't surprise me when men they start also thinking okay it's easy to get any woman out there when women treat themselves as disposable men follow suit so she's absolutely right here women today are undermining their own value and it's why men no longer respect them the way they used to that's the ugly truth but here's where the video takes a turn women and girls need to realize that you guys are not objects anymore. And the way you represent yourself, obviously it has an impact. And as I said in the beginning, a lot of men are completely fixed here in this opinion that women are really easy nowadays, you know, to get and to have fun with them and that's it afterwards. But women and girls need to understand right now that you are not an object anymore. Sleeping with every man, it is not about self-empowerment which sometimes I feel 
women does it because they think it empowers them. This is not self-empowerment. This is my opinion. Sleeping with any man is not self-empowerment. I want to be very clear out there, okay? And I don't want to get very deep into femininity because feminine, feminism is something that is broadly uh, interpreted. Everyone has its own interpretation to it. So I don't want to talk about that. And this has nothing to do with feminism. What about men? It's not <laughs> logic. Feminism has everything to do with this. No soup for you. <laughs> Once again, she's onto something. Sleeping around is not empowerment. No matter what today's culture tries to sell us, it's degrading and it strips women of the power they claim to have. However, and this is where we disagree, she says, Ephanism has nothing to do with this. Ephanism has everything to do with this. The Ephanist movement is what paved the way for this so-called empowerment narrative. By pushing for sexual liberation without accountability, Ephanism told women they could do whatever they wanted with their bodies without consequences. Can you make me feel good? Can you make me feel good? And now we're seeing the results of that. But if she's not willing to address the role Ephanism plays in this, how can we take her argument seriously? Ignoring Ephanism in this discussion is like ignoring the elephant in the room. And this has nothing to do with feminism. What about men? Where is masculinity it's completely gone I, I don't see anything like a real man a strong man out there and by strong men i don't mean like physically strong i see a lot of like men them you know masculine physically but uh, when it comes to their attitude and character <clears throat> to be masculine it doesn't mean that you have to have control over a woman but it also doesn't mean that you need to lose your voice, be m more overprotective, where you just make a woman completely sick. That's also not masculinity. What I mean by masculinity, a man who is strong enough, who is, you know, strong enough to show his emotions, who's respectful, who doesn't see any, any woman or girl as an object and feels, uh, you know, woman is a cheap item in the end of the day and can be used anytime I want, whenever I feel wanting it. And you know, the roles many years ago where men were really men, they wanted to be good fathers, they wanted to be good, you know, husband, they wanted to be a great brother, great father. I don't see it anymore. It's just like, um, as I said, the roles has completely flipped off. Men are nowadays, more feminine as women itself you would definitely as i said you would agree with me and you will also feel like that that it's true men are nowadays acting like really women especially when it's about relationship when it's about the duties at home they feel like uh, okay if a woman is there why am i supposed to do the grocery shop so you know i can send my wife um when it's about uh, you know there's so many things right now i can't think about it but there's so many things that you can understand especially in relationships no soup for you. <laughs> here's where she completely misses the point she criticizes men for being too feminine for not stepping up but offers no concrete examples of what that means or why it's happening it's simple men are reacting to the environment they've been raised in. Ephanism shaped the modern man just as much as it shaped the modern woman. Boys today are taught to treat women as equals, but the problem is the mixed messages they get along the way. Be a gentleman, but don't be too aggressive. Be a provider, but don't assume women want your protection. This confusion is real. And we got footage from an ethnic psychologist that corroborates this. So what is the role of, the, of a man? You, it, it's really unclear. I mean, that's the thing. And I think that, that it really needs to be discussed. And that's where I think there's hope is that when people can actually say, hey, I'd really like to pay on this date. And, you know, if she says, well, I don't feel comfortable with that. I think a question is, OK, that's fine. You 
we can split it, but I want to, let's talk about why. And to be able to talk about, you know, what are, what does this mean that I pay? What does that mean to you? Um, you know, I think a lot of people would say, oh, well, it means like, you know, that, that you expect something back from me. You expect, you know, that, that we're going to have sex or you expect, you know, whatever these Control, old ideas right. are. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and I think that we need to be having these conversations. That's my point is that it's not so important that we that we know what it means. It's more important that we know what it means to the person that we are interested in. What mm. does it mean to them? It's going to mean something different to everybody. So if we can't talk to this person that we're interested in about what it means, then we're just going to both people are going to be mired in confusion. It's not <laughs> logic. Men today are torn between being traditional and being modern. And that's the real issue here. It's not that men aren't real men. It's that society keeps moving the goalpost on what it means to be a man. When you don't acknowledge Afinism's influence, you're not addressing the root of the issue. If you can't do that, your arguments fall apart and you're just another lamb trying to lead the wolves. As I said, you can agree with me, you cannot agree with me, it's all up to you. But that's my point of view and uh, it's very sad. I mean, I know we cannot change about it, but I mean, we can change about it when the moment you start, it's all up to, you know, up to you. How you want to live your life in the future. If you want to be treated like BS, obviously it will go in this way. But if you want to have like self-respect, and that high respect from people around you, that's a completely different thing. The most important thing is that uh, you need to think about future. Sometimes we people, we just think about the present and that moment. But sometimes it's very important to think about the future. What will happen in two years? What will happen in five years? What will be the results of these things that I'm doing right now? What will happen in 10 years about it? Now, this is where she tries to offer solutions. And honestly, I don't completely disagree with her here. She talks about making a change on an individual level, being more selective, raising standards, etc. And that's good advice to an extent. But here's the problem. This issue isn't just about individuals. It's societal. You can be the most high value person in the world. But if you're dating someone who's part of this modern society, they're going to be influenced by it. The environment is what drives so much of this behavior and that's why this problem can't be fixed on a one-on-one -on -one level. And don't forget about the laws that protect and enable certain behaviors. Where are the women speaking out against divorce laws that favor them? Where is the push for true equality when it comes to family courts? Women don't complain about those laws because they benefit from them. And that's just the truth. Women love the current system because it works for them. If they didn't, they'd be out there fighting tooth and nail to change it, but they're not. So at the end of the day, while this woman's coming from a good place and she raises some valid points, she's not addressing the bigger issue. Ethnism is at the root of many, 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 many of these issues. Men aren't feminine by choice. They've been conditioned by a society that's been shaped by decades of ethnist ideals. And if we're going to solve this problem, we need to address the real causes, not just the service level symptoms. Now, can I get a drizzle, 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 drizzle. Man, it's where we work it. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted. <laughs>